Hi guys, uh, welcome back to our channel. Good afternoon. I wanted to do this mug dipping video, uh, one, because I have a bunch of those supplies at home and uh, Arizona, the official stay at home quarantine started. It started today, April 1st, and it's supposed to last until the 30th. Um, so I kind of thought like, you know, if you're stuck at home with your kids or by yourself and you want something creative to do, I feel like most people have these like supplies in their house so i wanted to make a new video i've made one before about a year ago um i will link it here or here i'm not sure which side um with like a thorough in depth on how to do the mug dipping but i'm just going to do a couple cups i had lying around the house and kind of do something creative since uh, we're stuck inside and being creative is fun and you know lets you play and just make something cute and nice so yeah let's get started I'm outside so if you hear cars drive by or birds chirping that's why I just have a bowl here it has a uh, warm water in it uh, you don't want to use too hot water because the nail polish will like just evaporate and you don't want to use cold water because then it'll clump up and be gross so you kind of need warm water and then I have a bunch of nail polishes over here I have this mug that I got at Target a long time ago. They're normally like $1.99, but if you want something cheaper, I got this mug at the Goodwill. It was 99 cents, and I think they were having a 50% off sale, so I got four mugs, and they were 50 cents each. And then I also got this thermos at Target. This was another kind of cheap one. I think it was $8.99. These are all things I've had at home. You do want to wipe down your ceramic cups with a nail polish remover or acetone if you have that, just to try to kind of get the oil barrier off. And I like to use these sinful nail polishes to do my mug dips because they're really, really cheap. Um, it's like $1.20 per nail polish so that's the only reason why I use these. I have Orly out here but these nail polishes are six to seven dollars each so for crafting things you know the cheaper your stuff the better and then also you're gonna need some Mod Podge um, this is the same one I use in all my videos and glitter this was $8.99 I believe at Michael's I did buy a Michaels gift card a few months ago intending to do a crafting video to give one away so I still have it and I'm gonna give it away um, I'm not sure if you can actually buy nail polishes but you could get the Mod Podge the glitters paint brushes and stuff at Michaels so that you guys can order something online and get creative at home so you're not you know bored and restless that you're spending your time well and doing something that you like I'm going to start off with my gray mug here. I need to take the sticker off. I got basically canceled by the internet on my first mug video for not taking the sticker off the bottom. I've learned my lesson there. <laughs> and I just have these little cotton pads that uh, I bought at Costco also a long time ago. They come in nine, a pack of nine long strips basically for like six bucks I think and I it takes me like two years to go through those so I love getting those at Costco just want to wipe down the surface here with the nail polish remover or if you have acetone acetone's probably better but either one will work and a lot of people also reamed me in my first video for having nail polish where you can drink from on the mug so if you're worried about that you can tape off the top portion of the mug when you're drinking from it you won't be accidentally licking nail polish or you know whatever kind of worrisome thing people seem to be worried about <laughs> I'm just gonna tape this off here this also I just had lying around the house Cameron and I did all of the painting in our house by ourselves and I was also pregnant so we have lots of painters tape just lying around and this sticks really well to the cup you just roll it around there push it down this is totally unnecessary 
You don't have to do this step if you don't want to. But just so I don't get canceled again, here you go. <laughs> so our cup is prepped. Now, oh my God, a fly. Now, what I'm gonna do is, um, that cup is gray, so I'm going kind of for like Easter, like Easter spring vibes. So I'm feeling like oranges and blue teal, something like in this color range, some peaches. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Maybe some like aqua teal glitter. So I'm gonna use this blue, kind of aqua-y, very light blue glitter in there. All you do is take your nail polish. So this is Orly in the shade Vintage. All these nail polishes are really old, at least for the most part. The sinful ones are the newest ones that I have in my collection. Um, so I don't know if you can even get this color anymore. So it's vintage. It does tend to be a little stinky. That's why I'm outside doing it and not in my kitchen. Um, I used to do it in the kitchen and it took about like an hour for the smell to go away. So I've learned to just go outside. This Orly shade is a uh, glow stick. And then this is Julie G nail polish. This is in the shade. Oh, I don't even know. It doesn't even have a shade on it. This was another cheap one I got at like CVS. Ooh, that's so pretty. And then also I have this plastic bag on here. Um, we have cats, so we obviously save the plastic bags for their litter. Um, but it also will save your bowl, because if you don't put the plastic bag on your bowl before you start doing this, your bowl is basically done for. Um, so you don't want to do that, so that's why I have the plastic bag here. Normally it's a Target one, but since I went to Goodwill and got that mug, I had the Goodwill bag out, so that's why it's a Goodwill bag. It's most of the time it's a Target bag. Add some glitter in there. I think I'm gonna put some this orly color. It's in the shade hip and outlandish. Put this on here. And you could do whatever design you want. You don't have to put so many colors. Uh, you can just, oh, I think this one is like empty. <laughs> okay, well this is gonna become polka dots now because it's empty. I've used this one, I think, two or three other times for mug dip videos, so it makes sense as to why it would be empty. Okay, now all you do is take your mug like so, and then when you do this edge, it's easy to hold it. Um, I do have gloves, and I recommend you using them, but because of our current state of things. I don't want to waste gloves doing this, so I'm just going to hold on to the plastic edges here, and then you just dip it in. So here we go. You want to shake it out a little bit to kind of get rid of the excess, because if the nail polish kind of clumps on itself, it makes this like layered mess. Oh my gosh, another fly. <laughs> but I think that turned out so cute. It's very springtime Easter-y. So what I'm gonna do now is put this to the side and then do the next mug. Okay, so I'm going to do the black mug next. I've never done a black mug, so I'm not even 100% sure if the nail polish will show up on it, but I am gonna try. Um, all I did was kind of scoop out the other dried nail polish that was around. Um, you can do that or you can just completely change your water, whatever you prefer. Um, most of the time I change the water, I just don't feel like changing it today, so you don't have to if you don't want to. Um, I was also saying before that you can put whatever kind of design you want in here if you want to do like what I'm doing, like the lines, or you can do... Um, just one color and let it kind of water marble itself. You could do that. Um, I like this pattern, but I could do like circles if I wanted to. Maybe I could do a circle. Um, 
so that when it transfers onto the mug, it looks like a little circle. Do this. Circle or an infinity sign. It's a lot of nail polish, okay. I wonder how it's gonna turn out. I've never done that before. And you do want to be careful when you put um, glitter nail polish in these mixes uh, because it expands and it'll mess up whatever design you've created. So um, just so you're aware, that does happen. That's why I tend to use just the shaking, like the shakeable nail polish and not, uh, or not shakeable nail polish. I use just regular arts and crafts glitter instead so uh here we go let's see what the black one does okay i'm not gonna put it all the way to the top just want to shake this out or um, if you have a toothpick you can kind of go like this move the nail polish around from the side of your mug Ooh, look at that that's pretty good and you do have to let these dry before you put the Mod Podge on them. That's so cute. Because um, it's, you know, a lot of nail polish, so it does have to air dry. Look at that. Maybe I'll never do basic colored mugs again. I'll only use black ones. That's so pretty. And super festive. Yes. Okay, I'm going to put this over by the next one. And then we can do the thermos. Okay, so this is the leftovers from the black mug creation. And I actually really like it. I'm just going to add some of the same like highlighter green-yellow color to it for my thermos. Shoop, 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 shoop like these so this one's empty now too okay and what i'm gonna do um with this thermos is because it's a lot longer than my actual bowl I'm probably gonna dip halfway and then turn it over and dip the other way um so what i'm gonna do is put painter's tape around the top part so that i don't get any on the part that you drink from okay so here it is covered in the painter's tape um, so I'm going to dip the bottom first. Let's see how this goes. Should like lean it a little. Oh, I waited too long. So this is what happens when you wait too long. The nail polish kind of dries. It's not dry to the touch yet, so you'll get nail polish on your fingers. But I waited too long to dip it because I was taping the top. So this is what happens. If you wait too long, so I'm going to try to get this nail polish off here and re-dip it if I can because this texture on here is um, not gritty, but there's definitely, it's not smooth like ceramic, so I don't know if it's going to come off as easy, but I'm going to try. Okay, so I'm just going to call this one now officially failed. It's going to take me about <laughs> two hours to take all this nail polish off of here, if I'm lucky. It's much easier to remove the nail polish off of the ceramic cups. Uh, this one is taking a lot of effort and a lot of nail polish remover and it's not working very well so this one would have been cute but totally a fail you can't that'll never dry properly to seal off and stuff so that stinks that's okay we have fun doing it so I'm gonna let the other two mugs dry and then I'm gonna Mod Podge them and then we'll see how it turned out. This is how you clean this up. So I literally just pick the bag up. Normally there's 
some little tiny hole. As you can see, the water's leaking out, and I just let it slow leak out. Um, but your bowl is completely safe. You can just wash it again, and all of the excess nail polish is trapped in the bag. So then you just throw the bag away, and it's like nothing ever happened. <laughs> So here are my two mugs. Um, I'm just gonna leave them outside. This is like a clump water bubble of nail polish. Um, you can pop those with a toothpick if you have, or a Q-tip, um, so it doesn't stay bubbled like that. Um, I already have nail polish all over my hand, that's why I'm just using my finger. Um, but it's really hot outside right now, so they will probably dry within an hour or two fairly quickly so I'm just gonna leave them out here in the sun and then we can do um, the finishing touches okay so it's been about two hours now and I just left these outside so they are very very dry now um, I do have to say that I like the color story of this one, but the glitter, like here the glitter is really visible, which I like that part, but in other parts the glitter got layered in the nail polish, so just kind of hidden. So what I'm going to do is use my Mod Podge that has glitter in it to kind of add more glitter. See these areas? The, the glitter like came through really well, but like on this side. It's covered by nail polish, so we're going to paint over that basically and also seal it at the same pot time because that's what the Mod Podge is for. That glitter right there looks really good. It almost looks this is like little veining right here, kind of looks like like coral, like ocean kind of tropical vibes. And now move the tape. See how it gives you a nice clean edge around everything so you don't have to worry about licking any nail polish <laughs> let me get my brush it's the same brush out of the same box of brushes that I always use that seems to never run out I'm pretty sure I got that at Michaels or like Hobby Lobby one of those for like 15 bucks or something and here is the glitter Mod Podge all I'm gonna do is open this up. It actually feels really nice to be outside right now. Uh, like I said in our other video, in our Canes video, we've been basically self-quarantining for five weeks. And now since the official orders for Arizona to quarantine just started, it's gonna be like 10 weeks of quarantine if it doesn't get extended after that, so good to just sit outside like you have an apartment on your balcony and just just sit out here breathe some fresh air in because you'll just go stir crazy in the house basically especially with like the uncertainty of work and jobs and stuff like we're kind of going through that right now uh, I think there's a, <laughs> a lot of anxiousness in the air at this moment so you can get outside and just breathe a little it'll help a lot so all I'm doing here is putting the Mod Podge kinda a tiny bit above the nail polish like blue tape line that I had put before that I just ripped off basically and what is this gonna this is is gonna like kinda seal the nail polish in but also add a layer of glitter, which will be great. The gift card that I mentioned earlier, I believe is for $25, and it's for Michael's, so you can get yourself some Mod Podge and some of these brushes. And if you have an old, ugly mug in your cabinet that you don't mind destroying or you know trying to transform, this is a good time. So as you can see, it's so bright out here, you can like barely see the camera, but the Mod Podge over here that's kind of dried a little bit, it's added so much 
glitter to my design here, which is what I'm looking for. You can really tell right here the glitter versus no glitter. And this, I'm just gonna leave sitting upside down like this in the sun again so it can dry more. And this glitter Mod Podge, so I have two glitter Mod Podges. This one is dishwasher safe and non-toxic. So this one, if you put up to the tip of the, of the coffee mug, it's non-toxic, so it's safe to eat from. This one doesn't say non-toxic and it's not dishwasher safe, so if you do end up using the glitter one, just remember that because if you try to put it in the dishwasher, it will melt away, basically. <laughs> so I'm just covering this one, sealing and adding more glitter. I still can't believe this one turned out as well as it did because I've never dipped a black mug before. I thought for sure it was just gonna, I don't know, the color was gonna be eaten by the fact that the mug is black, but it didn't, so that's a good good thing. Sorry for all the car noise, I'm outside like I said earlier. And you can use um, like paint markers if you have those, and you could write on the mug if you wanted, and then also seal that with a Mod Podge. Um, but I figured most people will have like nail polish and you know mugs at home that they don't use, but I don't know about paint pins, so. That's why I didn't include mine, but I do have some. And I've used them in my uh, Valentine's Day mug video, so if you guys want to see that, I will link that above as well. But these are so cute, like, just a cute craft, and you can use these mugs for, like, a pin holder if you wanted, like a paperweight in your office. Or like this, you could put like dirt in it and make it like a little succulent pot. There's so many things you could do with these, you don't have to just drink out of them if you didn't want to. Or you could use this to hold your makeup brushes. There's a whole bunch of stuff you could do with this if you don't want to drink out of it because many people are not amused with my nail polish art on mugs. So I've heard, I don't think there's anything wrong with it, but the backlash on that one video was really real, but I just wanna give you guys ideas. If you're gonna be stuck in the house longer than you expect and you got little ones or you're just bored or you're having like anxiety, this is very much a like, zen kind of activity like what do they call it when you rake rake the rocks like japanese gardens that's what this is basically so because i'm sitting outside these are probably going to take like 20 minutes to dry i'm sure if not less time than that so i am going to let these dry and then i will show you the end result Okay, so now the mugs have had time to dry, and this is the final look of this black one. I love the way this turned out. The glitter looks so good. It just adds a whole like extra layer of basically texture and color to it. I mean, it was really cute beforehand without the glitter, but you guys know me, and I love my glitter, so... Glitter makes everything better. Let's see if I can get some sun on it. Let's see so much sparkles. Wow. This is a win for me. This is like a A plus plus project for me. So yeah, I guess you could see it in two lightings in the shade and then in the sun. So good. The gray one looks like this. This one to me is like a B minus. I really like the color story. I like especially this 
region of it. This happens to be my like favorite region. Um, but I forgot to take the nail polish off the bottom. And if you try to do it once it's dry, it's very, very difficult. So try to do it when it's wet or remember to do it. I did it on the black one and I forgot this one. Um, but I did the glitter layer on this one as well. I think it turned out good. Let me get my head out of the way so you can see the glitter and the sunlight. There's crazy birds in my backyard. There you go. There are my, my two quarantine mug project, quarantine Easter mug projects. <laughs> quarantine Easter mug, spring, relieve your anxiety because you only work two hours a week mug projects. <laughs> uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys try it out if you do. Uh, Send me a picture of them on Instagram and uh, let me know which one is your favorite. Obviously, you guys know already the black one is my favorite. But yeah, I uh, hope you enjoy this video. Uh, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and we will see you guys next time. Bye! So, I forgot to say the rules of the giveaway. They're going to be exactly the same as the other giveaways. Uh, leave a comment down below telling me which mug is your favorite, subscribe, also follow my Instagram if you guys would like, um, and I will be picking a random comment, don't forget to leave your contact information in the comment, and today is the first, happy April Fool's Day, <laughs> this is not a joke, there's a giveaway, um, I think I'll have the giveaway close. Okay, so this will close in two weeks on the 15th and then we'll announce the winners on the Thursday video on the 16th. So yeah, uh, love you guys and I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy and see you later, bye!